What happened to Ryan Rogers? Two weeks before Thanksgiving, the Florida teen was reported missing when he didn't return home from a bike ride. A day later, his body and his bicycle were found at a sidewalk near an Interstate 95 overpass. Palm Beach Gardens police found Ryan, 14, had been stabbed to death about three miles from his home. On December 1st, police arrested Semi Lee Williams, a 39-year-old man in Miami. He's facing charges in Ryan's death, which police say was a random act. While his killing has garnered national news coverage and invited online sleuths to guess what led to his death, Ryan's family told the Palm Beach Post that they've tried to log off and tune it out. They instead prefer to celebrate how their son, a William T. Dwyer High School student, lived, not how he died. His parents, Cindy and Brian Rogers, called their son relentlessly active, saying he spent most nights biking or rollerblading. According to his mom and dad, the boy loved playing with Star Wars Legos and was a fan of the Fast and Furious movie franchise. Brian Rogers told The Post that his son wanted to be a professional soccer player when he got older, and he always showed an interest in being a detective. He liked to piece together clues and see justice delivered. He avoided conflict, but any injustice really got him going, his mother remembered. He was big on justice. If something happening was not fair, he wanted it rectified. Both parents are still perplexed by how he ended up on Central Boulevard near I-95 on November 15th. Investigators believe Ryan was riding south on Central at about 7.30 p.m. when he was attacked. The man charged in Ryan's death remains in custody. Williams, who was homeless, had been in downtown Miami since late October. In YouTube videos he filmed and posted to a now-deleted channel, he did not say why he was traveling to Palm Beach County. The videos show that on the day of Ryan's death, Williams rode a tri-rail train north from Miami, where he started living several weeks before. Investigators believe he was walking north on the Central Boulevard sidewalk when he encountered Ryan. Williams returned the next morning to Miami, where he was arrested December 1st. A grand jury has indicted him on a first-degree murder charge.